Hi my loves and welcome back, I hope you're all well. If you follow me on Instagram you'll have seen part of this sketchbook spread already so today I thought I would share the process behind all of it with you. I'm using a mechanical pencil to sketch and a Winsor & Newton fine liner in 0.3 for the line work then Daniel Smith watercolours all in my moleskin sketchbook. It's been a little while since I've used watercolour in a moleskin so that took a little bit of getting used to just the texture and the way the paper reacts to wet media. Anyway, as always, tools and music will be listed in the description, so please do check that out if you want to know more. I think I mentioned in my previous speed painting video that I am currently a little bit unsure of what direction I want to go in with my art at the moment, and because of that, I've been spending a lot less time sketching, which is totally the wrong way around. So I decided to snap myself out of it and just do something in my sketchbook, because the more I do, the more I'll be able to figure out what I want to do. I've had a few ideas bouncing around in my head. I think of something that I want to draw almost every day, or usually something that catches my eye and makes me think I'd love to paint that, but I usually never get around to it. One of the things that I've been loving since moving, and I touched on this briefly on my Instagram post, but it's been all the windows that this new flat has. We have views out on three different sides of the building, so as well as getting an incredible changing light throughout the day, there are just so many different things to see, and the best part recently has been watching the subtle changes in the colours of the trees every day. So this first one is from my bedroom window. It's the view that I get when I wake up, since we sleep with the blinds open. The top of this tree has already gotten more orange since I took a picture of it yesterday, but it always looks so bright and glowy in the mornings, especially against a clear blue sky. And I can just about see the top of the church spire as well, and the church is actually close enough that you can hear the bells ringing every hour. Sometimes I lay in bed for longer than I should, just looking at this view. The next view that I find myself drawn to most often is down in the breakfast nook that you will have seen in my quick flat tour at the end of last vlog. It's that little area where I said I could imagine myself spending mornings looking out with a cup of coffee. This particular view of that window is actually from way back in the room, from the sofa. When I'm watching telly in the evening, I'm constantly being distracted by this window and all the stuff that's going on outside. I love watching people go in and out of the fish and chip shop and seeing into the top deck of the double decker buses that go by. It was a random idea for a sketch, but I'm glad I gave it a go. I might do more like this. I'm mainly just pleased to have two more pages in my sketchbook filled, an idea out of my head and onto paper. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Soaring in the wind A ribbon